We're asked what type of transformation is represented below. Here we have the sum of two, two by three matrices. To understand this type of transformation, we'll think of the elements in this first matrix as coordinates to points on the coordinate plane, where the first row would be the x-coordinates, the second row would be the y-coordinates, and then for each column would be a point on the coordinate plane. So you can think of the first column as point A, the second column as point B, the third column as point C. If we were to plot these three points on the coordinate plane, we would get the three vertices of this blue triangle, where this would be point A, this would be point B, and this would be point C. Now let's look at the second matrix. Notice all the elements in row one of the second matrix are negative three, and all the elements in row two are positive two. So when we add these two matrices, notice how we're going to be adding negative three to all of the x-coordinates and adding positive two to all of the y-coordinates. So if we add negative three to every x-coordinate, or subtract three from every x-coordinate, it's going to shift the triangle left three units, and then if we add two to every y-coordinate, it's going to shift the triangle up two units as well. So whenever we have a shift up, down, left, or right, this is called a translation. The shape does not change size, it moves left, right, up, or down. So in this case, the transformation is a translation where the triangle will move up two units because we're adding two to the y-coordinates and left three units because we're adding negative three to the x-coordinates. Let's go ahead and perform this addition and then plot the new points on the coordinate plane and compare the original triangle to the translation. So let's go ahead and find the sum of these two matrices. So we'll add the corresponding elements. So eight plus negative three is five. Seven plus negative three is four. Negative six plus negative three is negative nine. Negative four plus two is negative two. Five plus two is seven. Negative two plus two is zero. So again, each of these columns represents one of the vertices of the triangle after the translation. So looking at this graph here, the blue triangle is the original triangle, and the red triangle is after the translation. Notice both triangles are the same shape and the same size. It's just that the red triangle was formed by shifting the blue triangle left three units and up two units. If you look at each of the vertices, notice how, again, if we move left three units and then up two units, we have the corresponding vertex on the translation, and the same is true for the other two. If we go left three and up two, left three, up two, we have the vertices of the translation. Again, left three, up two, because we're adding negative three, or subtracting three from the x-coordinates, and adding positive two to the y-coordinates. I hope you found this helpful.